Hey guys, it's Shannon from iHeartRadio Nights here with Tyler Shaw. Thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. So nice to talk to you. Good to see you. I mean, yeah. not face, but this is what I we- know. This is going to have to do. Yeah. How have you been spending your time in isolation? Um, it's, it's actually not too far away from my normal schedule, which is really odd. But, um, you know, I have my home studio down here. Um, so I, I come down here every day and I write music. Um, if inspiration is, is hitting right, then I'll continue. If not, I'll walk away and go do other things that I'm doing. Uh, I'm learning a couple of new languages. Um, I'm trying to read as much as I can. Um, just trying to make the most of the time, really. Nice. I like that you're like, not much, just learning a couple new languages. I didn't say it was good, but uh, <laughs> yeah. What are you learning? What languages? Um, Polish and Mandarin. Wow, good for you. That's yeah. cool. And not only that, you've been hosting quarantines, which I find so amazing. That's totally. Great yeah. that you, what made you want to start that in the beginning? You know, it was something like people, people are at home. They're, they're going through a difficult time. Um, everyone's in a different situation uh, mentally um, and financially, of course. So I thought I would start this concert that would um, basically kind of take your mind off of that. Obviously, it's, we can't ignore the fact that it's something that is happening. Um, but it's sort of like, listen to us here, here we are entertaining, you know, we're, we're entertainers. Uh, all the artists that I had on, uh, did a really good job at, at distracting, uh, the viewers. So, yeah, that's good. I like that. And that's really close to home to you as well, because your wife is a frontline worker, right? That's sure. right. Yes. Yeah. She works at a hospital. Yeah. That's crazy. So how has that been with her going to work every day and you knowing that she's going to the hospital every day? It's scary, you know, there definitely is a, a heightened risk, especially because she's, you know, on the front lines there. Um, and pardon me, it's, things are changing daily and, um, you know, it's it's a scary time for both of us, so. Yeah, totally. Do you do anything specifically as like a partner for like when she comes home from work to just to like help her out? Because that's going to be- I drop her off and pick her up, but there's no way she's taking public transit. Um, you know, I, I do the best I can to have food on the table when she comes home and um, I see the struggle and, and the anxiety that she she has, so I'm trying to do the best I can to support her. Yeah, it seems like you both do a really good job at, at staying positive. So how do you do that for other people out there who might be struggling? It is a mindset thing, you know. If you if you tell yourself the world is crumbling and um, you know this is the end and life is, it chances are it will be that way. Um, but you know you have to try to find the light in in every situation um, without ignoring you know, not being ignorant to the fact that there is something going on. Um, but, you know, we just uh, try to stay positive with positive affirmations and, and words that'll keep things moving forward. Yeah, I love that. That's so good. And you had your birthday in quarantine. So happy belated. I did, thank you. Yeah, it was, it was one for the, the history books. Like, yeah, quarantine, uh, quarantined birthday. Definitely. Yeah, that's going to be one to remember. But did you manage to celebrate regardless of having to stay home? Oh, totally. Yeah. We had a little virtual get together with some friends and uh, my wife baked a cake uh, and I sipped on some whiskey. So um, sounds like a pretty good birthday to me. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. As long as you get cake. I feel like that's like, that's, yes. That's yes. <laughs> I see on the cake. Okay. So you took part in Stronger Together to Ensemble. That's the most friends you'll get out of me. <laughs> so what can you tell me about uh, everything that happened? How did it go? Um, well, as you guys saw, the last four minutes is, is definitely what I've been working on for the past three weeks. And it all started with, um, um, sadly Bill Withers, uh, passing away. And, uh, I was on the internet Googling, uh, his musical legacy and ended up, you know, coming across his iconic song, lean on me. And I was reading the lyrics and about halfway through, I was stopped dead in my tracks and I realized how perfect of a message this song is uh, and relatable to what's going on in the, in the country right now or and the world in general uh, with COVID-19. So from there, I was like, I need to, I need to release this song a as a tribute to Bill Withers B because the messaging is so relatable right now. Um, but then I thought that wasn't very Canadian of me. So I want to share, I want to share and see who I can collaborate with. Um, to get this song to another level. So I called my good friend Fifi Dobson and we started the idea from there and just uh, grew and reached out to everyone we knew um, to try to get the most possible artists on this song. Um, and as I mentioned, 25 artists uh, have said yes, including Brian Adams, uh, Sarah McLaughlin, Avril Lavigne, 
uh, Justin Bieber, Michael Bublé, and Getty Lee from Rush. So uh, amongst, obviously, a whole bunch of different people. But um, very, very excited about this. Yeah, I feel like that's an easy yes for so many artists to, to jump on board with, right? Yeah, the initiative, it just makes sense. Um, I will mention that uh, all the proceeds are going to the Canadian Red Cross uh, to fight COVID-19. So, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a fairly easy pitch and, you know, we're overwhelmed with the, uh, the response. So. Yeah, wow, that's incredible. Thank you for everything that you're doing. I, that's, that's so great. Sure. I'm sure it's helping so many people and just bringing so, many joy, so much joy into people's living rooms. So that's really totally. great. I yeah. um, want to know from you, what's the first thing you're going to do once this is all over? Uh, I will definitely go hang out with friends uh, and go watch a concert, go to a sporting event, like uh, get out of the house, basically. <laughs> yeah, just go anywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Tyler, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Stay safe, all right? Yeah, you too. Bye.